Hi, my name is Phil Anderson, and I'm running for United States Senate to represent Wisconsin. Just got back from doing a little afternoon fishing with my son down on Winger Creek by St. Mary's. Did not go very well. There's a lot of weeds down there right now. It was very difficult to fish. But before we did that, I had to get a fishing license. Now, a fishing license, you know, libertarians are generally against the government doing licensing. If, if the public needs to know, if consumers need to know if somebody's competent at something, then there are private institutions that can certify as to whether somebody's competent as a doctor or a hairdresser or a real estate agent or whatever. Really, though, a fishing license is more like a user fee because uh, there's not really a qualification that you show any particular skill. As a matter of fact, a lot of people that have fishing licenses aren't very good at fishing, which is fine. It doesn't matter. You can, you know, be a disaster out there. But if you get a license, the money that you pay goes to the Department of Natural Resources, at least it's supposed to, and then that goes to upkeep of the lakes and rivers and streams that we then fish from. So it's actually more of a user fee than a license. We call it a fishing license, but it's actually a fishing user fee because you're using the water, you're fishing, and um, taking fish out of it and, and disturbing nature to a certain extent, I suppose. And the DNR uh, then uh, helps keep up the streams and rivers and lakes in a condition that can be used for fishing and recreation. Um, so it actually is a relatively straightforward thing. They shouldn't call it a license app, uh, anyway, as a matter of fact. There are some rules and regulations if you're going to be fishing, but actually the rules and regulations that exist for fishermen are generally to protect the property rights of other people who would be fishing. So uh, you can't abuse the commons. You can fish to a certain extent uh, and take a certain amount of fish out every day, depending on the species, and that's actually uh, a function of Locke's proviso, which says you should be able to use nature uh, as you see fit as long as there is enough and as good for other people to do so. So actually, um, having daily limits and seasons for certain kinds of fish so that there's enough for everyone, that, that makes perfect sense to me too. So I guess all in all, I don't object too much to the regulation of fishing because it's actually not really licensing and it does protect the property rights of other people according to Locke. So I'm all for it. There's all kinds of other licenses that are uh, more, uh, more like extortion by the government to just get a piece of, uh, piece of the action for people, from people that want to go into business for certain things. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, um, real estate's one of them. I'm a licensed real estate broker and um, it would be just as easily, just as easy for Wisconsin realtors or South Central Wisconsin MLS to certify me as a, as a realtor. Uh, and that would be good enough for the general public to show that I'd had the education, you know, a certain education that, uh, that should meet standards in terms of practicing a limited scope of law, which is real estate, which is practicing real estate is. It doesn't need the state to do that and then take money from me for that. Um, so I object to that. But fishing's fine. It's great. I encourage everyone to do it. And not only that, but there's a certain satisfaction in going out there in nature and gathering things for yourself. We didn't uh, catch fish today. That doesn't mean we're going to starve. But uh, the idea that people are going out and providing for themselves, taking responsibility for their own, uh, their own sustenance, is also a beautiful, uh, uh, you know, time-tested, beautiful thing that people should be able to do. Uh, hunting, fishing, gathering mushrooms, growing gardens, CSAs like I talked about yesterday. You can grow gardens yourself as well as uh, buy shares of other people's gardens. That's all really, really cool and all very, very libertarian and free market. So I support that. As your senator, I will do everything to continue to support the care of our natural resources and our lakes and rivers and streams and even our parks by uh, user fees, uh, not, not taxes, not extortion, but if you use those things, um, then you should contribute to uh, paying for them. And I think that's reasonable. That might not be, strictly speaking, 100% by the book, by the philosophy of libertarianism, but I think it makes sense in a way that people are paying for things that they use and people aren't being uh, having money stolen from them to keep things up that they don't need, that they don't use. So, anyway, that's what I stand for. So, enough about fishing. Thanks, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.